my knuckle, not being broken or damaged from the scripture vehicle, nor a nigga wheels. My gearbox, my pigment on, my crown nut and collar pin, my drag link, my upper and lower steering arm, and my tie rod. They're not bent, broken or damaged, no illegal wheels, and firmly secured to the vehicle. And now I'm done with that. So now I'm going to the frame and suspension. My frame is not bent, broken or damaged, no illegal wheels, firmly secured to the vehicle. For my frame, I go to my spring leaf hanger. My spring, right. my spring leaf hanger. This is my spring leaf hanger, my bushings, my spring leaf, my u bolts my axle, and my shocks. They're not bent, broken, or damaged. No illegal wheels. Firmly secured to the vehicle. Gearbox, no leaks. Now, I'm done with everything here. Now, I, where I go now is my brake system. My brake hose. My brake chamber. My push rod and my slack adjuster. They're not, my hose is not cut, torn, and frayed. No leaks. My brake chamber, my push rod, and my slack adjuster. Not bent, broken, or damaged. No illegal wheels. From this critical vehicle. When my brakes released, I should not have more than one inch of play in my slack adjuster. Where's the slack adjuster again? Right here. Right there. Now, now from there, I go to my brakes. You have your S cam. You have your brake, uh, brake shoes, your brake linings, and your brake drum. On your brake, uh, on your brake, uh, on your S cam and your brake shoes, they're not bent, broken, or damaged, and no illegal wheels, and they're firmly secured to the vehicle. On your brake linings, you cannot have more than an inch. If they're worn excessively thin, take it in and get it fixed. On your brake shoes, if they're um, on your brake drums, if they have more than one inch heat stress crack in. Take it in and meet it and get it fixed. That's your brake system. Once you leave your brake system, you're going to come to your inner rim. Your inner rim is not being broken or damaged. It's firmly secured to the vehicle. Then you move to your tire, inner tire. Your inner tire is not cut. It's not torn. It's not frayed. It has no leaks. The top of the tire, it seems like a lot, don't it? The top of the tire it's not cut, torn, or frayed, no leaks. It cannot be recapped. The thread depth is going to be uh, 432. 432. Oh, yeah, it's a front. 432. And the tire pressure is 80 to 110. Now you got to do the outer tire. The outer tire is the same thing. It's not cut, torn, or frayed, and it's from no leaks, and it's from the secure to the bit. Now you have your rim. Your rim. It's not bent, broken, or damaged. It's firmly secured to the vehicle, and it has no leaks. From the rim, you go down to your lug nuts. My lug nuts are not bent, broken, or damaged, and they're firmly secured to the vehicle. I'm looking for any rust or shavings that in would indicate I have a loose nut. My hub, my hub is not bent, broken, or damaged. No illegal wells. Firmly secured to the vehicle. No leaks. And the last thing is going to be your valve stem. Your valve stem is not bent, broken, or damaged. It's firmly secured to the vehicle, and it has a, no leaks with the valve stem in place. That's all of it. So, when you and remember, you're gonna find the system. If somebody, the system may be working starting with your motor, and then coming to your wires, but you'll get your own system. Okay, as that goes, you're gonna find you're gonna. Find a system that works for you. You may you may want to do your, uh, your fluids before you do your wires. That's on you. Okay? I'm gonna I'm gonna show you my system and the way I've been doing it. And then if you want to do it that way, fine. If not, fine. So let's go ahead and shut the hood.